Today is World Suicide Prevention Day. And maybe some of you didn't know that coming here today to, to a wellness fair. Uh, how are the two connected? The body, the mind, they're, they're one. You can't, you can't separate physical and mental health. But systemically, we do that in our, in our culture. We separate mental health and physical health. We treat one as more important than the other. They're diagnosed, insured, and viewed completely, completely differently. In fact, we're whole people, and our bodies affect our mind and vice versa. So when we set out to have an event this year, we said, how can we bring our mission to our community in a real way that makes wellness accessible? And, and this is what we came up with. And I, I hope you all enjoyed this, this event today. What the goal is, is to bring these wellness modalities, bring these experiences that you've had today into your daily lives. Not just for you, but for your family, for your friends, for your coworkers, to understand the impact of wellness on our mental health. And to understand that suicide is most often the result of an untreated mental illness, but it's also preventable. And that's where this community comes in. That's where all of you come in. To be able to practice wellness in your day-to-day -day life, to be able to recognize signs and symptoms, and to be able to ask someone the simple question of, are you okay? And after that, all you have to do, all you have to do is listen. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a professional. You just have to listen. Why is this important? I lost my father to suicide when I was six years old. I say lost, I say lost out of habit, but he died. He took his own life and he died. And I know that there are other people here in my family who lost their father, other families who have lost their fathers, friends, people here who have attempted to take their own lives but are still with us today. Over 800,000 people die by suicide every year. That's too big of a number to ignore, right? But it's not all doom and gloom because for all of those people, we have people that we can celebrate. And that's what Celebrate Life is about. Remembering them, not demonizing them, not victimizing ourselves, but to remember their lives, to celebrate their lives, and to celebrate the lives that we have here today, to carry on their memories, and to live life to the fullest. And that's what wellness is ultimately about, is finding what works for you, what works with your brain chemistry, what works with your physiology, to help you be as well as you can be. That's what it's about. Celebrating life taking care of yourselves and taking care of those around you.